Over two millennia ago, the Buddha taught that life is characterized by dissatisfaction and suffering. His diagnosis rings painfully accurate today, especially considering recent global turmoil. From inequality to isolation, our modern age faces no shortage of stresses. Many now refer to the 21st century as the age of anxiety. Yet rather than feel defeated, what if we viewed this consuming angst as an opportunity? The Buddha's teachings not only identified the cause of suffering but provided the cure. His ancient wisdom offers a compass to navigate out of discontent by transforming poison into medicine. The Buddha discovered that attachment and ignorance lie at the root of misery. Believing ephemeral things to be permanent causes endless chasing. Grasping to self-centered desires yields relentless frustration. Failing to comprehend the true nature of existence begets ceaseless agitation. Such is the meaning of impermanence, suffering, emptiness, and non-self. So taught Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Japanese Buddhist reformer who carried Shakyamuni's timeless insight to new heights. However, today's fast pace leaves little space for detached introspection. How can teachings aimed at 7th century monastics apply now? Though vastly different contexts, the Buddha's diagnosis of collective angst remains essentially unchanged. By learning to break free of narrow perceptions, we unlock the freedom he taught. As Nichiren counseled one follower, in the more than 200 years since the Buddha's passing, no one has appeared who surpassed his teaching. Taming the Monkey Mind A famous Buddhist analogy compares our unsettled minds to a restless monkey swinging wildly through branches. Bombarded with digital disruption and distractions, this modern monkey spins wildly indeed. No matter the century, Buddhist training focuses first on calming and concentrating the capricious mind. The Buddha taught various meditations to settle our frantic mental state. Once grounded internally, we gain deeper realization into outer conditions. As Nichiren explained, if one's heart is impure and lacking in clarity then the Buddha nature will not manifest itself. We must slow the monkey before seeing clearly. By incorporating mindfulness skills like breath awareness, open monitoring, and one-pointed focus into daily routines, we tame our monkey minds. Regular meditation practice yields scientifically proven benefits, including decreased anxiety, enhanced focus, improved emotional regulation, and more compassionate behavior. Such internal training holds powerful modern relevance amidst growing concern over focus fragmentation, digital addictions, information overload, and empathy decline. In helping us relate to thoughts less reactively, Buddhist-inspired mindfulness offers essential wisdom for well-being today. Embracing change. Everything arises and passes away, there is no exception. This poetic line from early Buddhist teachings points to life's fundamentally shifting quality. Existence means change. Failing to recognize this impermanence causes suffering by prompting unrealistic expectations about static satisfaction. We chase after things hoping they yield lasting happiness. But as constituent elements continually transform, no phenomenon stays neatly fixed. Becoming profoundly attuned to this truth of ephemeral nature remains key for modern well-being too. Now especially we stand witness to sweeping changes, environmental shifts, political upheavals, societal transitions, technological disruption. Expecting certainty amidst swirling chaos breeds distress. Yet by aligning with deeper currents of ceaseless arising and falling, space for grace emerges. Skillful adaptation allows us to ride each passing wave rather than sink beneath it. As Nichiren wrote, maintain unwavering determination and sail the vessel of compassion over the sea of painful existence. Learning to dance with change in flexible mindfulness sustains hope. The illusion of self. Much suffering comes from inflating fleeting aspects into a solid self-concept, then anxiously defending this fictional ego. The Buddha taught that no abiding self exists in objects or persons, though we wrongly perceive things that way. By loosening rigid self-identification, we discover deeper connection with the whole flux. Meditatively investigating the question, who am I? slowly dissolves illusory internal boundaries. 
As wispy notions of independent self fade, compassion naturally blooms. Relating to others as fellow facets of the underlying unified network breeds kinder conduct. Thus, nurturing self-inquiry promises much ethical relevance now. Promoting insight into shared identity may help heal divides festering across polarized cultural landscapes. Partisan tribal lines could relax by comprehending no discrete self exists to protect. As Nichiren urged, we must abandon egoism to identify ourselves with the whole world. Loosening narrow identities bonded with race, nationality, or opinions nudges opening awareness towards common ground. There exists but one broad tapestry woven of ephemeral threads. The power of mindset. Buddhism declares that reality gets filtered through perceptual lenses tinted by our experiences, assumptions, and beliefs. How situations appear depends largely on mindset. By reframing mental narratives, outer conditions transform. As a saying goes, the lotus blooms most beautifully from the deepest mud. Aligning outlook with truth allows life's inevitable messiness to nourish rather than defeat. Fertilizing constructive patterns like optimism, resilience, creativity, and meaning-making skills cultivates blossoms despite muck. As Nichiren counseled, if you desire to free yourself from karmic suffering you must understand the true aspect of all phenomena. Reframing poison into medicine requires insight and effort but liberates power. Transforming global challenges into growth opportunities calls for collective mindset shifts at scale. The 21st century demands visionary Buddhism. Over two millennia have passed since Gautama Buddha walked northern India, awakening timeless wisdom about existence. While contexts evolve, his teachings retain relevance through unveiling the liberating truth within all changing forms. As Nichiren said, quoting the Buddha himself hundreds of years later, I am the only person who understands the nature of this world and I am also the only person who understands the paths of emancipation from it. May all living beings open their inner eyes and realize this transcendent path of freedom for themselves. The modern age presents challenges but also unique possibilities. By manifesting universal Buddhahood here and now, we light the way for countless generations to come.